welcome to Zach Rachel with me Zara from Indonesia. So in this video, I want to react to 10 surprising facts about Saladin or Salahuddin al Ayyubi. Saladin was one of the most famous Muslim commanders. Even the enemies know him as the wise warrior. All right, let's start to react. Saladin or Yusuf ibn Ayyub, born on 1137 as a Sunni and Muslim. He was a military and political leader who led the Islamic forces during the Crusade. Saladin was only a teenager when he decided to join the military following his uncle's footsteps. So in 1174, when Saladin's leader, Nur al-Din, passed away, many Islamic groups started to fight for power. Saladin decided to take his army to the Middle East and took control. And after taking control, Saladin went to Damascus with his army to take control. And after taking control, he decided to fight the Crusades and taking over Jerusalem. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? It's your boy, Yan Luqman, and welcome back to FTD Facts, where we post daily videos of the interesting world that we live in. In this video, we're going to talk about 10 surprising facts about Saladin. First up, okay. Saladin was actually known 10 as surprising an facts about Saladin or Saladin or Saladin. It wasn't common to see a soldat or a leader to have a well-established military background as well as to care about the people that lived in the places he conquered. After capturing the Holy Land, Jerusalem, he decided to show compassion to the Christian residents that were already living there and decided not to kill them. Saladin was a man who was the Sunnism, and he spread it across the wow, region while really the rise of the Ismaili Shia. Saladin was a high official who quietly rebelled and weakened the Fatimid system. While weakening the Fatimid system, he spread his Sunni beliefs across Egypt. Later in 1171, after the Shia Khalifa or the Shia leader al adi passed away, Saladin successfully removed the Fatimid Caliphate from the land and became the ruler of Egypt. Saladin decided to follow his uncle's footsteps and joined the military just when he was 14. Saladin's uncle, Asad Adin Shurku, was a high-ranking officer in the army for the Muslim leader Nur Adin. Saladin spent his time assisting his uncle, learning about battle and politics, and fought with him in every battle. After his uncle died, Saladin became the head of the army and the emperor of Egypt. Growing up, Saladin has always been a keen student. He had a lot of interest in the Arabic literature and poetry, and learned both the Kurdish and the Arabic language. Growing up, he was very knowledgeable about the Arab rulers, and was very enthusiastic in learning about the bloodlines of Arab horses. One of his greatest contributions wow. to Islam was That's the cool. unification of the Islamic states. He fought countless battles against the Crusaders and non-Crusaders in order to expand the Muslim sovereignty. He was successful in expanding the Muslim sovereignty in various regions that were ruled by the Crusaders. Some of the places where he spread Islamic rules are Yemen, Jerusalem, and Syria. Back then, and even now, he is deeply respected by Muslims for his contributions towards the unification. Okay, I think this scene from the movie Kingdom of Heaven. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, please make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe. After Saladin won against the First Crusade in the Battle of Hattin and captured the Holy City, Jerusalem, the European official heard about this victory and decided to form the Third Crusade to battle against Saladin. This crusade was funded by a new tax called the Saladin Fight. So the amount collected from this tax was the largest ever to be collected from taxes. When Saladin took control of Jerusalem, he allowed the captured people to be able to buy their freedom. So the price for freedom for men was 10 gold, for women was 5, and for children it was 1. Those that couldn't buy their freedom were sold into slavery. Next up are the group of Ismailis called Assassins, which were led by Rashid Adin. They were against Saladin, so they tried to assassinate him multiple times but failed every time. Eventually, Saladin found out about this. He brought his army to their fortress and demanded that they stop. And if they didn't stop, he would destroy their fortress. Despite Saladin being an amazing student in various subjects and a highly established military officer, he was very religious. He was more enthusiastic in studying the Quran and religious science compared to the interest he had for politics and fighting. Through Saladin's devotion, he was able to spread his religion further than any other Muslim emperor. Lastly, Saladin was the type of person to conquer by winning the opponent's heart. During the Battle of the Third Crusade, the leader of the crusade, Richard the Lionheart, King of England, fell ill. During this battle, Saladin decided to send his personal doctor to treat him. Wow! Wow, mashallah. On another occasion, when King Richard's horses were killed on the battlefield, Saladin decided to send over some fresh horses. Saladin did this because he did not want to profit off of Richard's disadvantage. Saladin died in March of 1193, only months after the closing of the Third Crusade. 
His memory passed into legend as one of the most remarkable Muslim opponents of the Crusaders. I hope you guys enjoyed these 10 surprising facts about Saladin. Well, Michelle, the facts of Saladin al Ayyubi are Saladin really amazing because you know guys he is so wise he sent physician to his enemy Richard the Lionheart even though to his enemy he is really treats well and his gratitude really wonderful he is so smart and he is so multi-talented after the Saladin conquered the Jerusalem he didn't kill and didn't have any intention to kill the Christian well, he really follows the rules of the war that the Prophet Muhammad convey. And you know guys, he is really famous in the world. They know Saladin as the wise warrior. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. But don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video.